Hey YouTube, Coppersan here. Today we're becoming a fiery juggler as we train the remastered Blaze Desert to level 202. While going over all the remastered skills and changes that happened with the Ignition update, Blaze Deserts are a lot better than what they used to be while still retaining their main appeal, juggling fireballs. This class is also the least creative class in the game, so if you want to be unique, go for this fiery boy. In first job you learn Orbital Flame, which is your main mobbing attack forever. Shooting out one orb that returns, dealing damage on the way back as well. This skill will get upgraded while we go. You can also use the arrow keys to aim the skill in certain directions while you're juggling. These attacks have the fire attribute, so they deal more damage to monsters that are weak against fire, like for example anything made of wood or that has the color blue. There also is another attack called Flame Bite, in case you really hate using Orbital Flame, but uh, bad news, you're gonna be juggling a lot more in those higher levels. You also get a passive Magic Guard-like skill, and your natural talent skill increases your base MP, and it gives you plus five critical rate when you use a wand. Earlier on, using wands is fine if you want to get a small critical boost, but ideally you are going to be using staffs as those have more magic attack. Your little elemental summon is not a toggle for this class unlike every other Knight of Sickness and it just boosts your magic attack a bit when attacking. First job feels rather slow, but thankfully in second job we're getting like all the attack speed buffs. Thanks to your booster and spell control passives, you're getting a whooping 3 additional stages of attack speed. Attacking will feel a lot smoother instantly when you get like 1 point in those skills. You're getting a ton of useful buffs and skills with the second job advancement. The controlled burn skill can be used to recover MP, but it passively also absorbs MP from monsters that you attack. This class no longer has a potion drinking addiction thanks to this skill, they're finally clean. If I had to use potions while grinding it was for my age. HP, not for my MP. Your fireballs got buffed as well in your second job, allowing you to juggle two balls at the same time now. You also get to use Flame Vortex if monsters get too close, you can push them away with that. And you learn the Orbital Explosion Toggle skill. When turned on, if you attack monsters with most of your attacking skills 10 times, you'll deal additional damage 3 times. It's a little explosion that happens dealing 3 lines of damage, it's a bit hard to see. This class no longer has any damage over time debuff, instead they just have this toggle now. And finally it has the flash fire skill. You can place down a small fire that you can use as a teleporter. You have to recast it after every use though. It's a nice skill to grind with in bigger maps, there aren't any convenient hidden teleporters in there. Second job feels a lot better and third job makes things even nicer. Your third job orbital flames feel even better, juggling three of those just feels way nicer. And the additional damage against normal monsters that the skill has now helps a bit as well. Also with this skill if you use your orbital flames three times, a bigger enhanced attack will appear. It's a bit darker red than the other ones. Besides that you have your flame tempest attack, you can use that to push monsters away if they get a little too curious. There is phoenix run, this is a buff that has to be used every 1800 seconds or 30 minutes. If you die while this buff is active, you will not die but instead you'll recover half your HP and teleport backwards. You're invincible for 3 seconds when the buff is used as well. And this class has their own bind skill now, Cinder Maelstrom has been changed. This skill used to make a monster big, making it deal damage to other monsters. But now it's just a bind, which is nice for those solo bossing blaze deserts. Grinding so far is not too bad, albeit a bit more button presses than most other classes. Four job though is where the fun begins. We upgrade Orbital Flame one final time. Now we shoot four flames and the damage against normal monsters is increased to 40%. You get your blazing extinction orb that slowly travels in the direction that you fire it, shooting out beams of fire to any monster that gets too close. Grinding is just a lot better now, it's still a lot of button presses but it's definitely not the worst. And it will get even better as well once we get our hyper passives later on. I recommend training a dual ghost pirates as well because those are weak against fire. In the fourth job you also learn the fires of creation summon. Using this skill as is summons a lion, using this skill with a down key summons a small fox and you can use this to switch your main mobbing attack to a bossing attack. If your fox is out your balls will no longer return and deal more damage instead. Also they apply a debuff that lowers elemental resistances. This skill works together with towering inferno which is a big explosive attack when you use it with your lion out but if you switch to fox mode the skill instead is used to detonate the stacks that you apply with your orbital flame on monsters. Blaze Desserts also learned a very powerful burning conduit buff which increases your attack speed by one stage and damage by a massive 60%. Whenever you use the skill the buffs will work for yourself wherever you are but party members will need to be inside the circle to get the buffs. But this is a really powerful supportive skill and they learned the skill Flame Barrier which blocks out statuses for a short while. 
Blaze Desserts Hypers are a big help for this class, increasing the range of your orbital flames and increasing the amount of hits on the skill as well and trade off for some less damage. Their active hyper skill, Phoenix Drive, is super fun. Man, I wish this was their main bombing attack, I would not hesitate to play this class a lot more if it was. This attack, Phoenix Drive, also changes depending on the type of flamey balls you're using, either you're mobbing one or you're bossing one depending on if you're lying or your fox is out. Their other hyper skill is Cataclysm, which is a screen enveloping attack that makes you invincible while casting it and of course deals a lot of damage. For your hyper skills, I would put all three points in your three orbital flame boosts and the blazing extinction ones. For blazing extinction, I want for the one that increases damage and not for the one that makes you hit extra mobs with this skill. Grinding a blaze desert is not too bad. Make sure to make use of your fire elemental attacks when mobbing as well. Swollen stomps and the monsters in fest 2 are weak against fire for example, so make sure to go there. For your hyper stats, go with 20% boss damage on the first line, 20% critical rate on the second line and 38% buff duration on the third line. If you're just grinding, then of course, as always, go for a 20% mess on the first line and drop on the second. So, fifth job. Of course, four blazing orbital balls, it's not enough, man. So now, with this fifth job skill, you can juggle an even bigger ball. This skill only has a five second cooldown and it's great to throw out as much as possible. This bad boy will always come back no matter which mode you're using, so make sure to move a lot as you throw it out so it travels even further, damaging even more monsters. Good old Flame Gears is back as well with an upgrade, the glow up is actually real. I got the old Flame Gears as well on the Bishop and it does not hold a candle to the 5th job version. Inferno Spear is a key down skill that has to be charged, it can be held down for as long as you have charges. It does a lot of damage and ignores additional monster defense, with the only downside that you're stuck in place while using the skill, so time it wisely. So you can summon a fox and a lion, but what about a cool salamander? The salamander mischief skill summons a salamander that tracks and attacks nearby enemies. It bounces between enemies up to 12 times and is amazing to use both when mobbing and bossing, because besides bouncing attacks you also get an ember buff for every attack this skill hits, increasing your final damage by 1% for every ember up to 16%. When the skill is over you also get a magic attack buff and that magic attack buff also increases by 2 for every 1 ember that you accumulated. Your final fifth job skill is savage flame. This skill again depends on which summon you have active, the fox or the lion. With the fox active, you get a ton of fireballs that ignite your enemies. Kinda looks like the fire poison mage fifth job skill. When your lion is out, you just unleash a big explosion that deals a ton of damage. The skill requires flame charges, which you gain when a normal monster is hit one time or when a boss monster is hit up to 25 times. For your trios, I am just like the Thunderbaker. Once again, I'm not sure. Get a main trio with Orbital Flame and Blazing Extinction. I think I would go with Phoenix Drive because that skill is really good right now. But Orbital Explosion might also be useful to boost that as well, especially when you go bossing. Then I would go for a second trio with Towering Inferno, either Phoenix Drive or Orbital Explosion and Cataclysm. But if there actually are any Blaze Desert mains in the chat, feel free to correct me there. Uh, I'm not too sure about adding Phoenix Drive on your first node nowadays. Maybe Towering Inferno will be better, let me know. Blaze Desserts excel at grinding. They have to think about their best rotations, using their placeable teleporter and various short cooldown fifth job skills, but it's actually pretty fun to grind with them in my opinion. Bossing wise, they're okay. Their burning conduit buff is an amazing supportive skill and it can get 100% uptime as well if you have enough buff duration. They're actually, I think they're actually pretty underrated. This skill is pretty sick. But overall, not a bad class. What do you think about the remastered Blaze Desert yourself? Let me know in the comments. And that was all for today. Thank you so much for watching and as always, many thanks to our members for making these videos possible. Special thanks to to Niels de Comic, Rama Waar, Sebastian Hanoi, Riley Os, Terry Kim, Varies, Cody Mora, Wine Lee, History Cannon, Backspace OTI, Safron X, Ziggy Deer, Flidiot, Knife Sue, Cloudfix, Gusus Rodriguez, Digby, Vira, Trevor, Michael Manchaka, Ratius, Justin Ville, Silvio Nato, Afterlord underscore MS, Striker Elk, Tidal One Pun, Radical Jaws, Riser Are You, Sir Tito 655, Matthias Simonson, PC Game Life, The Passenger, Martin Panzik, Conrad Cristales, Ace Light, Mr. Nark, Ben Wolf, Max Bernhardt, Mukao 1017, BMB King, Scotty Flies Fast, Priscilla, Brendan Cam, Vague Botnet, Fecko, Victor Sundstrom, Simak Only, Rashid Alarudi, Gerlando Balavia, Gianfranco Calderon Canafero, Lucky Beats, Matin Udev, Gummy Bullet, Lord Fazil, Spuds D. Kaiser, Zunnen, That Archer Guy, Grogro, and Gabriel Eck. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and happy mapling!